Hello all, my name is Krishna and welcome to my YouTube channel. We'll continue the discussion with respect to Seaborn and now we are going to discuss about categorical plots. Now remember guys in my previous video when I discussed about this plot, joint plot and pair plot, we are specifically de dealing with features, those are integers of floating values, those are having integer of floating values. Now we'll consider about box plot, violin plot and count plot and bar plot and this will specifically work for those features which are categorical features. So if I take an example, and I'll be taking the example of the same tip data set, okay? So this is my tip data set. And from this, you can directly see that sex is one category feature, smoker is one category feature, day is one category feature, and similarly with respect to time. So what we are going to do is that, first of all, I'm going to just discuss about count plot. So the count plot basically indicates that, uh, if, I, if I just go and press shift tab over here, here you can see there are values. Either you have to give X or Y, okay? And the main thing about count plot is that it shows the count of the observation in each categorical bin using bars. Pretty much simple. Now suppose if I give the feature as sex, okay? Six is, sex is my feature over here. And data frame as DF, okay? So this is my data that I'm going to give. So what it is going to do is that based on this particular data frame, it is going to pick up the sex column. Then, how many categories are there in that particular sex column? With respect to that, it is going to draw this kind of uh, count plot, okay? Or this kind of count. So again, I'm saying you press shift tab, go and see the description. It is basically counting the number of observation in each category values, okay? So in male, how many counts it has basically found? How many observation it has basically found? And in female, how many observation, uh, observation it has found? So all those information will be basically done by count plot. You can also use other features like smoker also. Here you can see that most of the people were not smoker, uh, less number, uh, I mean more number of people were not smokers, okay? So apart from that, let us see some other things, some other feature over here. I also have something like day. So let's see about day, what you will be getting with respect to the day in count plot, okay? So I will go and write it over here as day. In, with respect to day also, you have Thursday, you have Friday, Saturday and Sunday. This also indicates that many people go out to eat on Saturdays and Sundays instead of the other days, okay? So this is one example. Now, similarly, you can also make sure that you can change. Now, initially here, I had actually given, if I'm giving this default value, it is taken as X axis, but I can also give it for Y axis, okay? If I, if I say that Y is equal to sex, then now you will be seeing that you'll be getting a horizontal observation plot, okay? So this is basically counting horizontal. This is put in the Y axis. And this count is in the X axis. Pretty much simple and it is up to you. Whatever view, whatever, however you want to see it, you can basically see it, okay? Now, what we can do is that after this, we can also, there is also another plot which is called as bar plot, okay? And bar plot also does the same thing, but, Understand that in bar plot, if you see over here, we have to give both X and Y value, okay? Both an X and Y value. In this, in the previous example, in the count plot, you either have to give the X value or the Y value because one of the axis will always be having the count values, okay? So suppose if I give an example of over here as day. So on this specific day, what was the count? Like how many bills were basically present? If you, if you go and see, with respect to some other things like smoker, okay? Here you can see that with respect to yes, this was the count, with respect to no, this was the count, okay? So that was the count. But in case of bar plot, you specifically have to say that what will be your x-axis value and what will be your y-axis value, okay? Again, remember guys, in the previous plot, I'm not, I'm either specifying x or y. One axis will always be giving you the count. But in bar plot, you will specifically say, okay, your x-axis will be the total bill, your y-axis will be, the sex column based on the sex column okay based on the sex column it will basically display what is the total value in case of male you can see the total bill that was specified is somewhere around 20 in case of female the total bill was somewhere specified around uh, 17 probably okay so similarly you can also use different different columns uh, like i can use smoker in y-axis okay i can do this or what i can do is that let me make this as y and this as x I think this will give me an error. No, it will not give me an error. Uh, so here you can see that in case of smoker, yes, the maximum bill was somewhere around 20, more than 20. No, in the case was somewhere around 17 or 18. 
Now, this is again a univariate analysis, and this is with respect to the categorical feature, guys. Always remember that, okay? So, bar plot, you have to give your an x and y value and your data set. Pretty much simple. Now, with respect to sex and total bill, also I can find it out. Here it is. So, I'm giving in my x axis as sex, y as total. So, here you can basically see my respect to the male. This, this indicates that male had uh, the more maximum amount of bills, whereas female had less, right? The total bills when I'm comparing. So, again, this was with respect to box plot. Now, uh, okay, sorry, this was with respect to the bar plot. Now, we'll discuss about box plot. And you, if you remember, guys, again, Box plot have already discussed in uh, discussed in Matplotlib. Uh, this value indicates zero percentile, twenty five percentile, fifty, seventy five, and hundred percent. And these dots that you see, these are outliers. Now in box plot also, if I want to use box plot, I I just have to use SNS dot box plot. And if I press Shift tab, again here is your x value and y value. So in the x, I'm saying that take it as smoker. So instead of smoker, I'll just give age. In the y value, I will give it as total underscore bill. And the data is basically my data. So once I execute it, this will actually show me, uh, you know, box plot where in the x-axis it will be age, and in the y-axis it will be total. Age. But I think I got some error. Okay, sorry, it should not be age. It should be sex. Sorry, sorry for that. I just missed uh, misinterpreted. So here is your sex column. So I have male and female with respect to male. You can see that. Mail has also given uh, bills more than $50. So this is like kind of an outlier. Guys, if you don't know about percentile, please do watch my statistics playlist. Now, similarly, what I can do is that I can also use different, different colors okay, inside this. So here, uh, I'm basically using it as X is equal to day feature and total bill. And these all are feature names, okay? Because anyhow, I'm giving my data set DF in this data variable. And suppose this palette if I remove this palette and don't give anything, right, you'll be seeing that this is the default color. But if I give some other colors like rainbow, okay, so I'll be getting this kind of colors. Now you'll be thinking, where did I get this from? It is simple. Go to this documentation page. You'll get everything. You'll uh, just research. You just search it. What are the other things apart from rainbow and all what you can use, use in this? Uh, this is pretty much simple. I, so here it is. So I have my box plot. Here I'm giving my data is equal to DF, orient is equal to V. Now see, in this case, what is happening is that it is considering all the features, all the features over here, like total bill, tip, and size, okay? It is just displaying in the form of uh, percentiles. And always remember guys, for box plot also, you need not have category feature, because here I've just not given my X and Y axis. I'm just suggesting and telling it to do it on the complete data frame, okay? So here by default, it is taken all the features. And similarly, I can also use this. Now, in this case, I have not specified orient column. Okay. So here you can see in my x axis, I'm saying total bill. In the y axis, I'm saying day. And I've not given the orient column. So who is my value of smoker? So data is equal to df. Now, see why I've provided who is smoker. I'm saying that classify these points with respect to this. So with respect to smoker, when it is yes, it will be having a different diagram. With respect to smoker as no, it will have a different diagram. Okay, so once I execute this, you'll be able to see this kind of diagrams. Now let us go ahead and guys remember one thing that you need to remember in this is that once you are able to get this, we are able to compare with respect to different categories that you are provided in this GUI parameter. Okay, when smoker is equal to yes, at that time you see that this is my zero percentile, this is my 25 percentile percentile, this is my 50th percentile, 70th percentile, 75th percentile, and 100th percentile. Similarly, all the other values, you can basically compare. And you can also see that where is the maximum outliers present over here. In this case, you can see there are maximum outliers. In this case, also, you can see maximum outliers. So this is basically giving you some information about the data, like how it is normally, how it is distributed within your data set. Okay. Now, in the next plot, we are basically going to discuss about violent plot. Now, violent plot helps us to see the both the distribution of the data in terms of kernel density estimation and the blocks plot. So internally, if you make this uh, figure huge, this internal is basically your box plot that you can see over here. Apart from this, it also displays the distribution, how the distribution is with respect to the data. So this is basically specifying your distribution with respect to KDE. And it is a combination of both box plot and kernel density estimation. That is the major thing in about violent plot. 
but for most of the scenario what you can do is that you can basically use uh, box plot because this is basically providing a lot of information apart from that you can also use joint plot also okay joint plot also gives you this information like this right this this is the basic information that you can basically require now what i want you all to do is that guys please do practice this will be using iris data set try to display all these particular diagrams using iris data set that is the request this is the homework that you have to do and in order to load the iris data set you can use this particular okay now from the next class onwards i'll be discussing about exploratory data analysis i'll be showing you different types of uh, uh, real world problems from kaggle data set i'll be picking up and showing you different different uh, exploratory data analysis so this was all about this particular videos guys i'll see you all in the next video have a great day ahead thank you one and all